wouldn't mind having a bit of rain on our second winter camp on really tight that wind can pop them off yeah so that smells really nice Hey, greetings everybody. Fancy seeing you guys at the same place I'm at. Fancy that. Well, we're on another camping trip. Well, I am. Rubber's at home today. Rubber can't come on this trip. She came on the last trip, but she can't come on this trip, guys, okay? So, we're here at Matata Dock Camp, and they don't allow dogs here. And we are camping in winter, and there's only about eight people booked out in here. So a little dog on a lead would be, wouldn't even notice it. So we're here for an overnight camp here tonight. We're going to have a bit of a fish, have a bit of a camp. We're going to use the same tent as last time, the Bacinna tent. But look at that, there's no one here. There's a few camper vans here. Look. And we of course are going to go all the way down to the far end at my special place. So I've camped there before, that looks nice. Pukiko. So our spot is just up here. Yeah. Oh, look, no one around. No one around. We are camping right here. Pukiko, what's is loose? What's is loose? That's a really big site. Check the site out. Whoa, look at them up there. And we're gonna put our car about here, and we are going to put our tent over here. And we are going to put a fly up, or three by four tarp. And here we are, welcome. Hello. These trees here block the wind from coming from the ocean. Last time I was here, it was quite windy, and this trees, these trees did really well. It blocked it a lot. And, but we had a little bit of wind that was coming shooting just down here. So my tent had finished about here somewhere. We had a little bit of wind just coming through this gap. Right. I'm gonna have a look. I'm not gonna have a look at the ocean. So please don't get upset in the comments or complain in the comments about why rubber is not here, okay? It gets rather annoying. Rubber came on the last camp. It took her three days to get over it. I would love to see her here, but you're not allowed dogs here. So if you want to complain about me not bringing rubber, can you just complain to Doc? And don't complain to me, because it's not my fault, okay? I hate people complaining about stuff like that. So here we are. Oh shit, that's a small seat, look at that. Oh, nearly fell over. So, there's a guy fishing over there. So we'll keep an eye, everything as the water out here was just bubbling with Kahawai in quite close and a lot of people I know have been catching their limit in Kahawai the last couple of days and I've missed out two days in a row of Kahawai when I got back from my last camp I went to Thornton at about just after 12 looked around for a bit saw no no one catching any fish then I went to see a friend of mine in Edgecombe Brother Chaz Walker in Edgecombe, Kia ora Chaz. And then I heard from about half past two to half past four, they had a whole lot of kahawai coming in close and they were munching on white bait. A lot of guys managed to catch a lot of kahawai. So hopefully on this trip, we might catch some kahawai. Check out the weather coming. From that, I think it's from that direction. So we have got a bit of a breeze again and I'm not quite sure I think I'm going to check the weather but I might have to move my car so to block a lot of that wind yeah so welcome back to another camping video so I was speaking to the people up here I was saying in winter when there's no one around isn't it okay to just have a have a dog with you you know just understandable when it's really busy 
and there's no one around like it is today. See, a good spot, isn't it? It's a good spot. So we're going to put our tent here. I'm just going to check the weather forecast because I think that we're going to have to. I was going to put my car this way, I have my tarp here, and then my tent here. But I think I might have to turn my car that way and have our tent and our tarp this way. I'm going to check the uh, wind direction and then we're going to sort it out by then. There's all my gears, look, way heaps of gear. But I left all of that in my car from a previous trip. Got my bigger camera today, a couple of rods, pajamas, GoPro stuff, Kai in there. So I'm just going to check the weather forecast and then we'll get back to you guys when we set the tent up. And because I want to have it correct, the correct wind. Finally figured it out where we're going to go. Just move my car a bit. I've got the Bacinda tent here again, as we did the other day. It's a really good tent that one, so we'll set this one up. So I'm going to be using this GoPro here for shooting during the day and then I'll use my other camera for filming at night. This GoPro is a great camera but it doesn't film good at low light. Even though I had a few lights, a few lights up for the last trip and the GoPro just didn't pick it up very well. This is tap I used last time, it's not that good pretty crappy. Oh, another gas bottle. It's cold air, it's far out. My book suction cups there, got all my hammers, so we'll set our tent up. So looking forward to this camp actually. We'll see how the weather is later on. Scattered showers they reckon today. But we'll see how it goes. So we're going to put our tent up over in a flat area we did last time. Don't want to put it here. And we'll just move our car to suit the tent. So we'll have our entrance out this way, we'll have our tarp this way here, facing out here. Choice. A little bit of tent again. It's a good little tent this one. It's a good tent. We'll try and get up before the rain comes. I think maybe he's too far away and we get some rain. So we'll hurry up. Pretty handy when you go camping.
got the outer inside out, so I've got to turn it around and then put it the right way. I wonder why it wouldn't fit. My vents are upside down. There we go, we're getting there. I'm just putting up the guy ropes now. And then we can, and I can set the tarp up. So I'll bring my car up a bit closer. And, um, yeah. Because if the wind changes direction during the night, I can always take the tarp off and move my car around a bit. But at the moment, the wind's coming this direction here, so that car should block a lot of that wind out. Kmart blanket, Kmart bed roll, just perfect this, just fits so well. Also used in the back of my car as well, this, this blanket, this is the perfect fit for this tent. Now our bed roll goes in there, my bed's almost set up. gives you some insulation and a bit of extra thickness for some comfort. And now our Kmart lounge lounge uh, cushions and a Kmart sheet for a uh, sleeping pad And also got to hear our thick blanket. Now we probably won't need this, but just in case if we get cold, because that sleeping bag is pretty warm. It's like minus 15 degrees Celsius. The old Caribbean jumbo sleeping bag, not from Kmart. So we're going to use our 4x3 tarp. A Rexy tarp 4x3, 4 meters by 3 meters for the front of our tent. Perfect. Right. We've got a car over. So this is my car set up, tent there. I'm going to hang the tarp off here. Hopefully, hopefully that wind's not going to upset it too much if it changes direction. I'm, not quite sure. I think I might have to just move my car in a bit more of an angle this way. And we'll put the tarp this way a bit. Let's say if it comes up from the south here. This way is alright. You can adjust it. our tarp, 4 by 3 meters, good tarp this one, nice and waterproof. Right, so we've got that nice and taut on this side, our three meters. We've just got to always check on these suction cups because they work really well as long as you've got the old suction on really tight. That wind can pop them off. 
So we've got our three meters that way, and we're going to hang our four meters up this way. I've got two guy ropes. I'm going to use two guy ropes per pole, and we're going to probably put in two pegs per guy rope, and that'll give us heaps of nice, strong poles for our thing tonight in case something happens, which hopefully it doesn't. Well, welcome back. I think we pretty much finished our setup. That looks not too bad. I've got a bit of a drop down this side here to stop some wind coming in this direction here. Uh, we've got suction cups and they've been coming off so I've been making sure they stay on nice and firm because you don't want to come off, you don't want these coming off during the night like we have done when it gets too windy. So, but they have been slipping off here Maybe because my car's dirty, might need to clean the car a bit. And I've also got uh, I've got a rope across the middle here, a bit of a guy line here. So that's gonna that's coming down to here. That's for the middle of the tarp, and oh, it's back of the tent. I wouldn't mind the tent being a little bit more out of the weather. A little bit more. I don't want to maybe move it, move it down a bit. But there's the other suction cup there. Hopefully it's going to hold. It's fallen off about three times. So we've got all this room in here. It's coming to here, and I've got I've got two guy lines out. One here, one on the other side. But at the moment, it's we don't really feel the wind coming through here, and it's a good height. See as well. I don't want to be too low and too much ducking down but hopefully this should be all right it's all been seam sealed and I um, seam sealed it myself as well a while ago this tarp can handle the rain really good but I wouldn't mind I might have to just move I have to move this tent just a bit more out of the out of the uh, keep it out of under the tarp see we're a bit a pain in the butt there. It's got to go back probably, I don't know, 10 inches back this way a bit. So I'm going to have to do that. Move it back. Bugger it. I couldn't move my car any further back because of the tree there. I couldn't get into my boot. So, oh well, you got to make sure it's done properly. Nice and taut. I've got two, uh, two ropes on the pole. Absolutely buggered. Oh, far out. Oh. Is that better? When you go camping like this setup, you gotta best to stay for at least two nights so you don't have to keep on putting up your tent and tarp all the time. It's a it takes ages to set it just right. So I'm quite happy with this. We've got a nice little vestibule area here. The last tub was three by three and we're sort of like out in the open a little bit more than we are here. But the longer the tarp, especially around the coast, if it's windy, the longer bigger the tarp, the more problems you can have with a bigger tarp than a smaller tarp. So hopefully, um, hopefully we're gonna get that wind tonight and we have a good night's sleep. Yeah, it's taking ages, but I'm pretty happy with it. I'm happy with the setup. If it rains, we get under here. Uh, it's tied down for the wind on this side. Uh, we're okay for this side with the wind. We're, getting, we're actually getting no northerly wind, so we're actually safe here. 
it's probably more this direction here we're going to worry about but at the moment it is awesome what do you guys think about this setup so I'm going to have a cup of coffee now I've got four big bottles of water it's like 10 litres of water uh, what are these 2.25 litres so got 9 litres of water there it's enough for our overnight do dishes and stuff drinking coffee I've got two bottles of water as well we've got a I'll show you uh, what we got for tea tonight we've got our bait here and check out this pot of kai here we got a nice pot of boil up for tea tonight. We've got some pork chops in there, a bit of pork chop, a bit of pork henu, carrot, sausage, and some delicious watercress. Very, very sweet. This is the second night tonight. We had a lovely boil up last night. I cooked up for the family last night. Right, and there we have our tasty boil up there. We've got pork chops, sausage. We've got a kumara over there, we've got a carrot, and some delicious watercress there, yum. First boiled up for ages. Got some delicious pork chop there, check that pork chop out. Bit of henu over there. Oh yeah, it doesn't get any better than that. Delicious boiled up on a cold winter's night. Oh yeah. Kia ora, brother Chaz. Kia ora to the brother Chaz Walker. A watercress and I got a carrot and that's about it and heaps of watercress but no tomato sauce though but we'll heat that up tonight on the gas stove save making the fancy kai when we're out camping tonight it's gonna be a reheat and it'll be awesome in the cold night having a boil up this is the first time I've had a boil up on my camps it possibly possibly could be Also got some salami and cheese for lunch today. I've had no lunch today, I've had no breakfast. It's what, maybe one o'clock now. So cheese and salami. I'm gonna have a coffee now. I'm gonna have a relax for a bit. So it's good timing actually because that sky's getting a bit grey. Wouldn't mind having a bit of rain on our second winter camp. Be nice. A nice gentle scattered showers, a bit of rain on the top should be quite good. Especially after our awesome trip the other day to Makatu with the beautiful sunshine and really cold mornings. But it's definitely not definitely not that cold today. So there we have it. Set up there's guy ropes everywhere. I'm sure I'm gonna trip over some of them soon. Later on tonight, I've only put out two guy ropes on the tent, so we need because it doesn't really need anything else. It's not blowing a gale. So, yeah, it's just, I'm pretty happy with the setup. You guys uh, like the setup? I was going to put a pole up the middle here, have another pole, and I've got the poles here. I still can put a pole up if we have to. Let's give our tarp some more stability. Okay, coffee time. Sure. Ay, ay, it's a puta. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm using the APG gas stove again. Awesome gas stove. This is the 1.4 litre one. You'll find the links to this in the description of this video. Now these are a good one because it comes with a little pot stand or little gas bottle stand for an even ground. A lot of them don't come with this, but this one does. And also a little frying pan pot attachment for the top 
I'm not sure if some of the other cheaper ones also come with this or not, but this one comes with it. It's okay, it's probably a little bit too small, but it's all right. You can sort of, you can sort of put the cast iron pan on here because it's quite heavy and it'll sit quite heavily on there. But as you can see, it's quite small, so it'd be better if you had a bit more extension on the ends here for a bigger pot. So to stay here costs $13, it's $10 to stay per night plus $3 for rubbish, so $13. When I first came here last year it was about $8 or $7, went up to $10 and now it's $13 and apparently I heard today it's going to go up to $15 soon, Doc's putting it up. to buy some more milk powder yesterday so we're going to put a couple of teaspoons of milk powder into our cup as we normally do that's about two teaspoons there and we have a little bit of coffee in there as well add some flavor to the other coffee Oh man, far I'm tired. I just hate putting tents up and packing up and unpacking at home. Spoon these little titanium spoons these are good for for these big for kai out of uh, cooking kai out of one of these things here. These spoons here are good, good for uh, long handled titanium spoon. I bought this off AliExpress. Titanium, really handy to have camping and in the bush. the car again that suction cup Yeah, it's not too good. The suction cup comes off the car. I think my car's dirty. When I camped last year at Only Fenua, this they hold really well in some really crazy storms. But I'm slipping off this one. So I was just uh, speaking to the deranger guy that looks after this place. He just come down to say hello, introduce himself. We had a bit of a chat. He's saying I saw you booking online last night or this morning. There's only about four people staying here, four or five people, so nice guy. What you want? You want ah oh, shit. Is that hot? I to turn that off.
Oh yeah bro, I have to put my gumboots on soon. But I'll turn you guys around so you can see our view from this side. And have a look, we're waiting for our water to heat up. Check this out. We're looking out towards Matatara over here. And perfect. I camped over there previously in a video where I had the the uh, Kia 4 tent that leaked. That was a pretty wet night though. But I think you're ready to have tarps over your tent like that. Just gives you extra space. Gives you a nice little dining area and stuff. Your visitors coming over to see you and you want to invite them for a coffee or a cup of tea or something. So let's check out inside of our tent, shall we? But we'll turn the water off first. Yep. We're looking inside our tent. So as you walk into here, we've got our mat here, our Kmart mat for my knees. Kmart and oh let's have a little let's have a little line here for a couple of seconds. Yeah boy, check that out. I'm happy now because it's all set up. Yep, turn it off and just come in here into the tent. Let's have a bit of a look in here. Come in here, hide your mai. Here we go. Oh, oh, far out. Oh man, check that out. Oh, I do miss my rubber, but I'll make it up. I'll make it up to her on the next camp. We'll take her out on a nice camp for her. She can have a nice real oh look sand flies in here. But this is so cool. Check out the view. Nice. Oh, I can actually have a bit of a rest and then have a fish later on if I want to. Oh far out it's nice. I'd really love to stay two nights. I must do some two night campings but I haven't got enough time to to do the two nights but I should I should got other things on at the moment and I can't do two nights just one night at the moment such a good tent so roomy this is probably my favorite tent this one for the room it's pretty good and easy to set up I do miss my doity tent that is a really good tent but it's probably more of a tent for two nights or longer you can set up but I can quite possibly stay in here easy as for for two nights three nights oh, sand flies. oh man it's so this is why I go camping you know when it's so uh, relaxing like this and cozy in your tent isn't it good so cool we can sit out here, you can sit in here and watch the rain coming in later on, film some rain. Yay, film some rain. I'll get my big camera out for that one and with the big microphone so we can capture some rain on the tarp. People like rain on tarp camping. Do you guys like camping in the rain videos with the rain on the tarp sound, the rain on the tent? Well, hopefully we'll get some of that for you guys tonight. Isn't it cool? I love it. I love it. There's a camper van over there just turned up. Look. Probably checking out this awesome setup over here. Look. Over there, look. Camper van. I heard some noise before. Is that a tarp? Not quite sure later on we might get some pulling in here if it rains, so we might have to put a maybe put a pole up here just to pull the water out that way direction oh, I'm put these in there. you guys like that pretty cool pretty cool setup here you go
So cheers everybody, cheers and welcome to another video. Oh yeah. Gonna put another shock leader on my rod. Perfect. All right, so I had to change the battery in this GoPro. I've already used that one battery already. And I thought I'd actually left my battery charger at home. I was going, oh no, I've only got one battery, or oh, two batteries. I only had one spare one but lucky we have the old battery charger because you go through a few batteries on these cameras so I've got three three batteries for this GoPro 11 here and I've got four batteries for my other camera my my Canon which we'll set up later when it gets dark so we can get some good shots at night See, Rabbit would be in the right here, wouldn't she? If they allowed dogs here, she'll just hang around here and watch me do stuff and would have a, have a bit of a walk on the beach and all that. She wouldn't bother anybody around here, there's nobody to bother her anyway. Maybe they should, winter time, maybe uh, let this camp be open for dogs. As long as you let them know that you bring the dog and have it on a leash all the time. Probably a better idea than there's no one around. Trouble is there's not many places around here that allow dogs camping. I've got to travel a long way other spots. Only if Fenner was good they had our dogs there. But 
a lot of camping grounds don't allow them and no dock camps allow them so and it'll cost me too much money to travel all these places in my car to do camps We are here now filming on the Canon M50. It's going to get a bit darker, so we're going to film with this camera now. We'll try it out. What I might get, just wait there a minute. Yeah, so welcome back. Welcome back. I've just changed from the GoPro here to the Canon camera, and I'm using the Deity microphone over here so we'll put this away till fishing tonight so we're going to use this Canon M50 with this microphone over here so hopefully you guys can hear me right over there so trouble with using this camera here and this microphone here I've got to turn it on and off and if it's not turned on then you don't record any audio it's a real hassle sometimes trying to film yourself so I've got the LED screen out LCD screen so I can see it's recording and I'm trying to record some audio with this little microphone here see I haven't used this for ages but it's much easier using the GoPro you just turn it on press record and 4k bang starts filming stuff but this Canon here even though it's it actually films really good quality video. This Canon's really good. If you, if you can get the settings correct, it films really good video. This Canon M50. With the 22mm pancake lens. This is a, if it's a pancake lens from Canon, it films really good quality video. Especially in low light. So we'll set these lights up later on. I've got We've got a few camping, uh, the same lights as we used on our last camp. We'll just set them up here, get some ambience happening. Also got a little, another little Kmart, oh, I'll show you, Kmart light, which is over here. I bought one of these the other day when I bought Rubber who her, her uh, winter vest. What's going on there? Yeah, it's better. Put that on there. Oh. And a bit of flame action happening there or just a uh, ambient light so this is quite good this takes four or three double a batteries this one came out mother one fell on the ground and broke so i had to buy another one came out batteries enco batteries so this will give us some ambience later on when it gets dark and scary out there so i can't even this is actually a bit hard to screw on this one it's not quite it's not quite there you go done it done skis yeah the time now did you say the time now is four o'clock four o'clock it's time to relax 
had uh, Dave came down from the the guy who looks after this place here. You okay, bro? Yeah, all right. Thanks, Dave. Thanks for uh, checking on me. Just doing my rounds on make sure you guys are okay. So, so thank you, Dave. Doing a great job. I'm going to come back here again very, very, very soon. I think I, I like it. This is my favourite spot here. My favourite spot right here. It's away from the main camp, and I'm here by myself. I can move the tripod around without being annoying for other other people who stay here. Because when you're filming vlogs like this, you got to have. It's not easy when you're trying to talk to a camera and you've got people around watching you. It's it get quite embarrassing. The way over there, and I'm over here, because I'm wearing the lav mic, you guys can hear me pretty clearly over there. Yeah, I think you can hear me over there. So I've got the lav mic on here. Pretty flash, eh? Flash YouTubers. So you can get some good shots. But it's the problem with turning that on, turning the one on the camera on, turning the camera on, making sure batteries are charged up, making sure your plugs are in properly. And we're trying to record stuff, you only got one shot at it, like cooking food or doing weddings, filming weddings is another one. If you don't get it right the first time, you've stuffed it up and you can't get people back to refilm shots, especially stuff like this or doing weddings. So you've got to get it right the first time. So hopefully this will be uh, look way better than the last video we shot at Mucky 2. I was a bit disappointed in that video. A bit disappointed that it... I knew that the GoPro didn't shoot good in low light. I knew that, but I thought I'd try it out and it didn't work out. So I had to cut out a lot of shots that I'd film. Shots like this, wide shots with the tent and the tarp. And here comes the wind again, popping up. The bloody wind. I hate wind. I hate wind camping. I don't like wind when it's camping. So which camera which camera do you guys like better? The GoPro footage or this camera here? Our background out of focus with this lens. It's a 22mm. It's a really good lens. Cheap and it does a really good job of filming stuff like this. We're in low light already and I'm in focus here. Background's out of focus whereas the GoPro doesn't do that. But the GoPro shoots really wide and really wide and it shoots in 4K. This Canon doesn't shoot 4K. Well, it does, but it gets cropped to something really hideous. Hideous as. But that looks quite good. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Ah. On the GoPro now, so we're just going to have a walk up here and have a look over the other side. I'll check the ocean out. The Canon doesn't have image stabilization in it, because this one does. Oh, look at the rain cloud out there, look, rain out there, guys. But where's the car? Where's this? Where's all the car and stuff? <coughs> I can't see any. So this time yesterday and the day before, apparently there's Kahawai like 20 meters out from the shore. And it looks like I've missed them again. Ah bugger. Bugger legs. The tide's coming in. What's we'll it out there? What's that? There's Kahawai there, look. Right up there in the middle where the seagulls are. They're in close. That might be a. Yeah, they're out there. How they're right there, look. Shit, I'm gonna go and grab my uh, gun boots and my rod. We're gonna head over there. Can you see them? Right there. Not many, it's just some. But they move so fast, you see. I just saw them. So we went back and grabbed the bait, so we're gonna have a bit of a bait fish. Pretty excited. 
is I normally am when I start fishing. I'm using some anchovies, salted anchovies that I've salted up. We'll see if it works for whatever's out there. cast Had a recast, but uh, as you can see in front of us, there's some rain coming heading this way here. I've had a few drops. Uh, I just had a recast. I do have my umbrella back at camp. Look, it's just getting dark and it's bike time about now. There's a big rain band look, coming this way. The sky's actually darker than it actually looks. Oh, mozzies look. It's starting to drizzle a little bit. It's starting to spit, so I might have to bring this rod here and I might have to do a uh, quick run back to the safety of the camp. Oh, who thinks up to look? Oh, bloody huge. Yep, just starting to spit a bit now. Oh, I'm getting hungry. Here we are. Get camp X-ray. Right, far out. See you right there. 
Well, I mean, just getting everything sorted out so I can cook some food for you. Just trying to fix this tarp up a bit and get it all sorted out. And hopefully this footage here is all right. We're going to heat up our boil up now. Boil up time. Boil up onto the stove just like that. That's how you do it. Hey boy. That was delicious. Mm. Oh yeah, it smells. It smells really nice. bit of a light here happening here for you guys so you can see what's going on oh, right. I'm so busy today been flat out all day a bit tired actually haven't stopped haven't stopped all day this all done There we go. How's that? You guys see it right there now? Hopefully the footage is better than the old GoPro. Ooh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. That smells really nice. Right, there we go, our boil up is there, is cooking very nicely there actually. Uh, it's going to get a bit hungry. Got a lot of bugs flying around tonight, so we're going to make sure our tent's closed up. Which isn't. Close it up. Oh, far out, just keep everything organised, this takes so long. Oh, hello, how are you? I'm going to bring this camera here over here, you guys can check out the boiler, get a nice good close-up shot of the boiler. You guys want to see this? Here we check this out. Our Kai's nearly ready, but man there's just heaps of bugs around at the moment. There's bugs all over the inside of this top hole in here, have a look at this. Do I see that all right? Oh. Bugs everywhere, look.
Right, so our car is nearly ready. It's just nearly heated up, so we can find our famous blue plate, which is here. A bit of salt, you need a bit of salt on there and our koi. That is perfect. It is well cooked. Turn it off. And right, so there we go. Our kai's ready. Yeah, our kai looks very tasty, so we're gonna have a bit of a taste test for you guys right now. Here we go, here it is our boil up. Can you guys see that alright? There we go. Doesn't get any better than that, does it? Check that out. Steaming hot, beautiful boil up. Closer, there we go. A little good shot. Mm, right, please test time. These bugs go into my food. It is deadly. So nice. Mm. Oh. Mm. Doesn't get any better than that, my friends, having a lovely boil up under your tarp and you're camping with some rain. You see, it's getting showers, but this is rain. Oh, I 
love boiled up. What's your favourite? Watercress, Puha, what do you guys like? I love them both the same. I love watercress and I love Puha. Uh, we're going to have a cup of coffee now, after that delicious feast we just had. Oh, far out. Well, I think I did on camera. Yeah. Burnt the hands, uh, burnt the hairs on my hand. You guys are right there. Are you guys enjoying this video so far? Getting you all excited to go out there and do stuff like this? What's wrong with that camera? Is it? extra protein in my bloody coffee. Bugs are falling in there and I hit my light on it. Bloody bugs. <laughs> Serenity spoilers, right there. Perfect coffee, especially after that boil up. That was a really nice boil up. I really enjoyed that. It was so nice. 
probably just not quite enough fat in there for me though, but there's only a couple of pieces of fat in there, and I like a little bit more fat in my board up. Hopefully Erin didn't give that fat to rubber. She doesn't actually, because... Because, as we know, it's not good for rubber, is it? Fat. It's not good for any of us, really. Pork fat's alright. Hmm. Well, I'm just going to sit here and relax and enjoy the serenity of this beautiful evening. It's so dark out this way here. I'm looking towards the Marata pub out here. And uh, it's pretty busy over there. We have more fun here, I reckon. So cheers, everybody. Cheers, and thanks for coming along and watching this video. Hope you're enjoying this one. It's going to be a rainy camp now. Supposed to be scattered showers, but now it's going to be a rain camp, so awesome. Hopefully it's like this all night and get some good footage for you guys of some nice ambience, some beautiful rain. So, speaking of ambience, let's put on this flame for this Kmart light. You ready? And there we go. Right up, there it is. Put a flame, turn it off. Whoa. See that? Good ambience. Oh yeah. Anyway, I'm going to finish off my cup of coffee and I'm going to have a bit of a rest for a while. I'm going to go on uh, my phone bit of a relax and uh, we'll catch up with you guys when something happens. It's just drizzly now, it's nice. Really, this is a real nice camp. I like this camp. It's an awesome camp, my friends. I love in this camp. I might have to come here again very, very soon, but you just can't bring rubber here. But we are nice and dry under here. As soon as that rain's come, Sort of bone or the window away. It's nice. Nice ambience at the moment. So we'll catch up with you guys very soon. I'm just yabbering for the sake of it now. Oh yeah. Just got a message from C West. How are you Corey? My mate Corey. Haven't seen you for ages. Corey West. Haven't seen you for ages, so I think you're due for a trip down here, you sure are. So shout out to you, Corey West. Shout out to you, good man. So, yeah. I think I'm due down for a fishing comp, bro. I'm thinking, you sure are, Corey West. You sure are. Your camping videos were bloody on point, bro. You've really smashed it with your camping videos you should have carried on doing them because you're really good at them and get some pretty massive views on your camping videos 100 200,000 views probably more got some ambience got some, uh, got some rain on the top Corey West Rain on the car. On the top. Giving you a shout out. And I'm giving you a shout out at the same time. So cheers Corey West. Hope you're well. You come down. Come down and we'll have a we'll have a catch up alright. The rain's uh, slowed down. Oh, we want some more rain for some ambience, don't we? So I'll catch up soon, if something else happens.
Ah, cheers everybody. Good morning everybody, good morning. Oh, I had a good sleep, it's about quarter to eight. I had a pretty good sleep last night, or this morning, the time I went to bed. Uh, here we are in our tent. Here we are, let's go have a look outside. We had a bit of rain during the night, and a bit of wind. But we're nice and dry in here and nice and warm in our tent so let's have a look outside see what's going on there's our tent in here see, the old uh, fence up no condensation and it's nice and warm in this tent oh let's have a look outside looking beautiful beautiful and grey today forecast is rain today rain they reckon so we're going to be out of here at 10 see it's a bit windy wake up this morning it was quite windy at about half past 6 oh far out it's quite cold too but there's our little set up there it's lasted the night really well Everything is still, oh, it's not too bad. All our lines are still pretty good. Our suction cup stayed on. We had quite a bit of rain last night, actually. It must have been about two o'clock this morning. We had heaps of rain. This, see, this tarp's quite good, see? You can have a little storage area at the back. That's where I had my rods last night. Next to the car. So if you come through here, you've got a, you know, you can put a little storage area here. You can store, store stuff down here. Look at my tent seat, perfect. It's such a good idea putting tarps up over your tent when you can. So it says, and there's the other side. The tarps always dry. Look from that wind, it's almost dry. See, it's a good little storage area. You can store stuff down here out of the out of the weather. I had this down last night for the rain. Put the old pole down this way. Check the wind out. Yeah. So uh, wait, I just reckon that tarp is so good. That tarp really is so good. Such a good tarp, that tarp. Right, we're gonna check out the ocean. I didn't go for a fish today, I didn't want to get out of bed, it was too wet, so no fishing this morning. See go up to it. Must be still white bait around. Look, right there. In front.
It's just pretty windy. Glad I'm not going camping today. I don't mind the rain, but I hate the wind. Whoa, heck. Shit. We might not, not even be able to have our coffee today. It's that windy. Whoa, far out. We're going to have a coffee in the morning, don't we? Might even blow this camera over here. Blow my camera around. Look. Right. Whoa. Hopefully it'll be able to go right. This stove I can be blown it should be alright. They're pretty good these stoves for the wind. Oh, yep. See in the wind and it works pretty well. Right, coffee time. Hey boy. So I'm gonna pack up and then I'm gonna head back towards Fakata and go to Thornton and we'll check out the river. See if anybody's fishing there, see if there's any kahawai around. I still haven't caught a fish on our camping trips. I keep missing the fish. I'm always a couple of hours too early or a couple of hours too late. <laughs> it's our cup gone. Here it is. <clears throat> oh. Bit of a fight going on behind you guys there. There's a fight, there's a couple of uh, pukeko having a fight. <clears throat> So I lowered this down last night, so it's a bit low. It just saves these swimming tarps blowing around and, and flapping around like that. See? Whew, far out. We've got to have a strong coffee today for that wind. Good. A little couple of teaspoons of milk powder. Oh, it's a bit too much milk powder there, but if you guys won't tell, I'll, I won't tell. And we need a coffee sachet. Have I got a strong one there? So I had planned to have this for breakfast this morning. Some corned, some corn sodium, I mean corned beef. Not corn sodium, corned beef. But, uh, not in this wind, and as you guys know, I don't eat much breakfast. It was like the last trip we did, we had two breakfasts. Just for the video, I didn't do it for anything else, I just do it for you guys, so you guys know they're not starving, starving away to a mountain. So, I think we'll have a nice, uh, a cup of chino strong today. Is this still on? Oh yeah. Whoa, far out. That doesn't blow the camera over. That wind. I don't think it's supposed to be this strong. It's not supposed to be this gusty, that wind. So I know what's going on. See that? Holy hell. I might have to pull the top down pretty soon. Fire out. <coughs> I'm back to you guys soon. I'm just gonna throw this into the into the car. Do I need this? And I can chuck in the chili bin into the car. Right, we'll see you guys soon. I'm just going to go around the back here and and we'll throw this in the car. Hey! <coughs> hey! Hello everyone, what are you up to? I think my tub's just looking a bit crap. 
Oh, this rope's come undone. That's what's going on. Look. Yeah, it's a bit not taut enough. So we're going to plan for our next trip. Uh, our next camping trip, I'll go with rubber somewhere. I already know sort of where. We'll go in the car. Good enough. Mm. You've got to have that morning coffee. You've got to have that morning coffee. Make sure you're hungry for pie. It's cold, good pie weather, and there's a couple of good pie shops across the road here. And apparently, if you come camping here, there's a good shop that sells fish and chips here too, across the road. Apparently. Cheers, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. I hope you enjoyed this camping trip. Hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the setup. It was a really good spot to be. No people around. I give this camping trip a 10 out of 10. Mmm. Oh yeah, it's nice. Really nice. Ah, delicious. Oh, yeah. There you go. You guys are about to see the, the wind now on the top. Thank you for watching. I'm going to slowly pack up before the rain does turn up and we're going to get wet. So we'll see you all on the next adventure, which will be with Rubber, okay? For those who miss Rubber, I miss her too, and she will be here on the next video. Okay, catch you all later, and thanks for watching. Bye. Tarps, tarps down. Everything's getting packed up. Still no rain yet. We're getting there, do the tent now. Slowly get in there, my friends. Slowly get in there. Just starting to drizzle now, and we're all packed up. Just gotta do my two rods, my rod holder, and then we're all done. Just starting to drizzle, so you can see a bit of rain on the windows there. Yeah, look, a bit of precipitation. It's a good timing. good timing. Make sure you leave no pegs behind for the old lawnmower. So that's where I was sleeping last night, right about here somewhere. Look, perfect. Good timing. As you can see, I've got three camper vans and it's a Just here at Thornton on the way home, we'll just check it out, but it's pretty wet, it's, it's raining now. Should we get in here? There's some fishermen there, look. People fishing. One guy there, hearty guy there fishing, look. Hearty ears. Or crazy, one of the two. I think he's probably more crazy than hearty. There's no, can't see any workups anywhere. If there was, I would fish here in the rain myself. Nobody there. I know there's three guys over there as well, fishing in the rain. Oh, sorry, three rods over there, also in the rain. <laughs>